Hi Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what is your person holding back from you. So what is it they want to share with you but they aren't coming forward with, okay? So um, this is going to be a general reading guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal Tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead and give the cards a shuffle and see what is it that they want to share with you, but aren't doing so. Page of Cups, reverse, there you go. Okay, I've got a few cards here. Um, wow, let me tell you, they're feeling some type of way about you. Okay, normally I feel like this person is coming across as a very secure, very confident, very assertive individual. But you, you make them go nervous. You make their knees weak, their hands shaky and all clammy here. I don't know what you're doing to this individual. Bottom of the deck temperance okay temperance is a reminder for us to draw balance into our lives and it's a reminder for us to be patient okay so maybe this is calling you to be a little bit more patient with yourself and with the situation and with your romantic energy okay so if you if you are someone who is wanting to um you know hurry up and speed things up between the two of you the universe wants you to just take it slow and let things flow naturally let things flow organically okay because don't try and rush this process because it might backfire so just let things happen okay let things flow let things flow naturally organically fluidly here no need to rush because there's there's something special here. There's something very special here. Your person is, they see you as, they see you as someone very um, special, okay? You, they are in awe of you, okay? The star card. This is someone who feels like you're very unique. Um, you, you're very, you're your own person. You're coming across as very independent, very secure within yourself, very confident here. And that intimidates them. They love that about you, but it also intimidates them. Because you're coming across as someone who doesn't need anyone. You just want someone. And that that's a bit of a dangerous person, right? Um, they, I feel like your person is either in love with you, is falling in love with you, or, you know can see themselves falling in love with you. I feel like your person is in total awe of you and I feel like normally they are coming across as someone very confident within themselves but when they're with you they get really nervous, they can't, They might get tongue-tied, they might get really like um, shy and quiet and reserved and that's what you do to them, that's what you do to them. You, I don't know what you're doing to this person. Um, First and foremost, this is someone who has either they have you on social media or they've been doing a Google search and they want to, uh, this is someone who wants to grow closer with you. Um, I feel like this is someone who's been doing some cyber stalking. So I can definitely see that this is someone who wants to get to know you. Okay, so if you guys are linked on social media, I see that this person is someone who watches your stories very closely, who goes, you know, who's scrolling through your page. They go through your photos here. Um, someone, and it's a way for them to feel connected with you, right? If you're not connected with each other, okay, or if you have like a um, a page that's part, like private instead of public, and this then this is someone who's definitely you know they've tried and they've tried and dig up as much as information as they can about you. Try and you know I, I see them doing like a Google search. Someone who's doing spying on you. They could also, not, not, uh, it's going to sound a bit creepy, but they could also have, if your page is public, then they could have someone, and you wouldn't, probably wouldn't recognize this, but they could have like a, 
like a really um, generic. Like they could be signed on as someone else. Okay, they might just have this and maybe look that that's how they, I don't know, that's, that's what they use to spy people, to spy on people on, but it just feels like it's, they, they're coming across as a little bit sneaky. It feels like this person doesn't want to get busted, okay? Again, it's not a stalky or a creepy kind of way, it's just that they don't want to get caught on the fact that they're spying on you or that, you know, checking you out here. It's like they want to make sure, um, that they're coming across as cool, calm and collected, when in actuality they're not, they're losing it whenever they're around you. Now you have the Page of Cups in reverse. It feels like your person is not ready yet to open themselves up to you. So if you are someone who is, um, so if you guys are in a, like a relationship or in a connection with one another, there's definitely feelings, there's definitely an emotional, um, a lot of emotional depth to them and this, uh, their energy here. But it just feels like they're not ready to make a move just yet. Okay, they might not be ready to, they want to, to advance the connection. Okay, they might not be ready to put a label or a title to the relationship. Or they might not be ready, if this is just like a crush, they might not be ready to ask you out. It's not that they're not ready for it. I, it, it could be that they're scared. It could be that they're very intimidated and you make them very nervous and you just make them very awkward here just because they're so, so, so into you. But it just feels like there's something here that they're holding back from you emotionally. And it could have something to do with the fact that, you know, you do intimidate them and you scare them. It could have something to do with the fact that the Five of Wands energy, they feel as though you have romantic, you have other romantic prospects around you. This person could be like a secret admirer as well. And this is someone who is admiring you from a distance. Someone who you might work with or work alongside with. Someone whom it could be like a... A professional setting okay as well so maybe you this person is a client or you're a client of theirs and you know they're starting to catch feelings for you but they can't open themselves up to you because of these professional boundaries that are put in place it just feels like that they're holding back uh, some emotional message or like a love offer or they're holding back from asking you out they want to or maybe the timing is just not right just yet, okay? If you're in a relationship, then it just feels like your person might be wanting, they're like on the edge or on the precipice of wanting to ask you to move in together or to propose here. It just feels like it's you're almost there, okay? But not quite yet. Either they're waiting for the right time, the perfect moment, the perfect circumstances to orchestrate here. Or it just feels like they're waiting for something here. Maybe they want to give it a little bit longer. But they're, they almost feel like they're there with you. Um, it does feel like, for some of you, it does feel like this person wants, you to, wants to ask you to marry them. They want to open up and pour their heart out to you here. This is someone who's who who will fight for your love, okay? And if it is like a secret admirer, if it is like early days in the connection, then this is someone who's trying to stand out from their competition. And if you notice this person, they're always trying to impress you, okay? Sometimes they may start acting up or doing things um, a little bit out of character. That's try that's them trying to get your attention here. They okay. Normally they're great at conversation normally they're really good you know they're a natural wordsmith here great conversationalist but with you this person suddenly gets tongue-tied this person suddenly forgets what it is that they want to say suddenly you know normally they're very shrewd very clever very intelligent with you they're at a loss for words okay and that's just how you make them feel okay they get really nervous they grow very intimidated by you they just this is someone who wants to you know, um, psychology says when you're naturally, when you're attracted to someone, you want to, you're going to want to put your best foot forward. And this person is so scared of, you know, putting the wrong foot forward. Um, they're really wanting to impress you. They also see that you have a lot of competitions. I that does that bothers them. It does. Okay, it bothers them that you talk to other guys or you talk to other girls, or it bothers them that you have so much, you have such a large following on social media. Social media is coming up big, by the way, here. And I don't know if you guys have met on social media, or I don't know if this is someone who wants to, 
like connect with you on social media here. Like you might be friends in the workplace, but you haven't connected on social media. And even though they're spying on you here from at a distance, um, or this is a secret admirer here, it just feels like it feels like they may reach out to you here and they may try and connect with you here on a social media platform and this will be their way of slowly moving things forward here or at least you know giving you the indication that they're interested in you romantically there's a lot that they're holding back and not telling you to be honest with you there's a lot because it feels and there's a lot of emotions here that they're holding back uh, even though they may be in love with you or have you know or, or see themselves falling in love with you there's also this um, energy of this presence of uh, fear okay maybe they're scared that you don't reciprocate maybe they're scared of being hurt because they have been hurt in the past here um, maybe you know the fact that you have so much uh, people that are like you have a lot of romantic prospects or they feel like they have competition here it could also stem from the fact that this person has an underlying lack of trust in themselves okay they don't necessarily trust themselves or their feelings here and it could be a lack of confidence as well okay especially around you uh, and if they might have grown up in a household where their opinions and their feelings were disregarded and if that's the case they've learned from a very young age that they you know to hide their feelings here yeah. or they'll get criticized for expressing their emotions and often like the judgment is because of past experiences their judgment is often le led linked to sorry negative emotions as well um, so your person just might not feel very safe as well expressing their emotions and their opinions so and they've learned that it's probably best to hide that in order to you know avoid criticism here there's an emotional there's an emotional build up here that I'm seeing so I feel like the more they see you the more that they grow in love with you or the more they you know attracted to you they become so this is where this emotional build up is coming from the build up is happening because they're not expressing their emotions to you they could also be i don't think they're in denial of these emotions but i just feel like they're not avoiding it either but it just feels like it's they're not expressing it you know by suppressing those emotions here it's causing those emotions to build and overflow here but you, you you do know that eventually it's going to get to a stage where it's just they won't be able to avoid you or avoid feeling what they're feeling so you know because of the overflow of these emotions they'll get to a stage where they're going to have to share with you what it is that they feel and just how you know attracted or how in love with you this person is because it's like there's a lot of intensity a lot of emotional intensity here Alright guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Appreciate your support by liking, sharing, subscribing to this channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading, please feel free to inquire. Bye for now.